Okay, so navigating the uh, the whole world of AI for business these days, it can feel a bit like you're lost at sea, just you know, swimming in jargon. But what if there was a clearer map, like a way to get straight to the really valuable stuff? Okay, let's uh, let's get straight to it. Today we're doing a deep dive into Jewel Studio. That's SAP's. Um, innovative new tool. It basically lets you build and deploy smart AI agents and skills. And when we say agentic AI, uh, think of these smart software programs, right? They can act on their own, they can plan, execute complex tasks, all for a business goal, not just, you know, following simple commands. Our, our mission here is simple, give you the shortcut, help you understand this new capability, why it's such a potential game changer for efficiency, and crucially, how it tackles some of the big headaches we see with AI deployment right now. So businesses are definitely keen, you know, eager to jump on this agentic AI train, and you can see why, but uh, it's not always a smooth ride, is it? What are some of those common hurdles, the things organizations keep bumping up against with the AI tools they might already have? Yeah, it's true. There are definitely significant obstacles. And what's really uh, fascinating, I think, is how these challenges often stop businesses from, you know, getting the full benefit of agentic AI. Like a lot of agents built with um, standalone tools, they just don't really understand the SAP systems underneath. Yeah. They lack that deep context. So their value, their reach within the business, it's limited from the start. Right, they're kind of operating on the surface. Exactly. And plus these agents often struggle to work across different systems, you know, these complex mixed landscapes businesses have. Yeah. So your automation flows get broken, the end user experience gets choppy. It's messy. Mm -hmm. And uh, a really big one, security, compliance, responsible AI. With many standalone tools, these feel like an afterthought, which means developers end up spending so much time just trying to configure everything to meet those essential enterprise needs. It's a huge resource drain. That paints a really clear picture of the problems. I bet a lot of listeners are nodding along right now, but I guess my question is, does this mean those existing tools are just fundamentally flawed? Or is it more that they weren't built with the, um, the unique twists of an SAP environment in mind? Like how much is it about just getting access to the deep data versus the AI's actual ability to get business processes? That's a great point. It's less about them being generally flawed and much more about them not being uh, purpose-built, you know, not designed for the specific complexities of enterprise data and processes, especially within SAP. And that's exactly where Jewel Studio comes in. It's designed specifically to deliver a tailored AI experience, one that fits your unique organization. It's part of the SAP build portfolio, and it's got this low-code, no-code approach drag and drop simplicity, basically, for creating custom Joule skills and AI agents. Okay, so making it more accessible. Right. And it works by extending Joule. You know Joule, SAP's co-pilot, the AI assistant you interact with inside SAP apps. Yeah, the smart colleague, basically. Exactly. So Studio extends Joule for your specific workflows. This speeds up deployment, boosts efficiency. But uh, the really critical piece, it's integration with SAP Business Data Cloud, and SAP Knowledge Graph. Uh, yeah. That's what provides the essential deep business context, the stuff agents need to give you reliable, precise results. So unlike generic AI, Jewel Studio's agents are, well, they're deeply grounded in your company's reality, your data, your processes. This massively reduces those AI hallucinations or you know weird, irrelevant answers we've seen. Right, the stuff that makes people nervous about AI in business. Precisely. These agents don't just talk business language, they understand your specific business. So in short, it's designed to be grounded, scalable, and secure. Inherently so. That grounded part, yeah, that sounds like the key, the holy grail for enterprise AI, maybe. I already see the potential, but uh, I'm keen to get into the nuts and bolts. Can you walk us through the core components? What actually makes Jewel Studio tick? You're the kind of person who wants to stay ahead, especially, you know, when it comes to your career. Absolutely. And the resource we've kind of got our eye on is Zquant's AI's mm. SAP AI Masterclass mm -hmm. over on Udemy. Now, this isn't some huge, lengthy academic thing. It's designed with a very specific promise. And it's quite a compelling one, especially if you're busy, right? Learn SAP AI in just one week. That's the hook. Right. By dedicating maybe 30 minutes each day. Yeah and focusing on practical, hands-on exercise. And right off the bat, <clears throat> something pretty interesting popped out from our research. The rating. Yeah, it's being called the uh, top-rated SAP AI training on Udemy. That's a strong claim. And if we zoom out a bit, thinking about your career path, having as a solid grasp of how AI works within SAP, that could seriously set you apart. Definitely. It's about gaining a skill set that's going to be more and more in demand. 
No question. Okay, so if you're listening and thinking this sounds like something you want to explore, maybe boost your own career. Here's where you can find out more. The place to go is www.zequence.ai. Let me spell that out. Z-E-Q-U-A-N-C-E dot A-I. Zequence.ai. Got it. Our research also flagged that there's often a special offer there, maybe with a coupon code. Oh, good tip. Yeah, so that website is definitely the best place to get the latest details and, you know, grab the deal if it's still running. Uh, I'm keen to get into the nuts and bolts. Can you walk us through the core components? What actually makes Jewel Studio tick? Sure thing. So Jewel Studio itself relies on other powerful SAP BPP services um, like AI Foundation and SAP Integration Suite. They provide some core plumbing. But within Jewel Studio, you're working with four main building blocks. First up, actions. Actions, okay. These basically let the agent connect to systems, huh. both SAP and non-SAP. So think about like fetching real-time weather info from some third-party API, or maybe pulling up supplier risk details from an external database. It's the connectivity piece. Got it. Reaching out. Exactly. Second, we have automations. This is where you can plug in your existing automation processes. Maybe you've got a complex transport process already automated. You can embed that. So the agent can orchestrate these bigger cross-functional workflows more efficiently. It's not about reinventing the wheel. You know? Right. Leveraging what's already there. Yeah. Smart. Yeah. Third are tools. These are more like um, out-of-the-box capabilities the agent can use. Things like um, making sure a human stays in the loop for critical decisions or using documents to get extra context, even a simple calculator for specific tasks, just giving the AI the right implements, basically. Okay, like a little toolkit for the agent. Exactly. And finally, number four, AI models. These come via AI Foundation. So you get access to you know, the state-of-the-art stuff, GPT, Gemini, Mistral, all those kinds of models. And importantly, AI Foundation also handles the compliance side for those AI interactions. Built-in data masking, filtering, crucial for enterprise data. So it's almost like this central hub pulling together connectivity, existing processes, tools, and the AI brains. Mm. Is, is that a fair way to think about it? Yeah, it's a pretty good analogy. A central hub coordinating everything. Okay, that makes sense. Understanding the... Um the overall power. But let's drill down a bit. You mentioned Joule skills and AI agents. How do they actually differ? When would a business use one versus the other? Ah, yes, that's a really crucial distinction. Let's start with Joule skills. Think of these as being designed for uh, rule-based repetitive tasks. They follow a known path, right? Okay. Problem A leads directly to solution B. Very predictable. Okay. So they're ideal for operations where you need consistency, reliability, no room for deviation. They get triggered directly through the Joule chat interface, you know, based on what the user asks or the context. Mm -hmm. Examples, um, fetching specific supply chain risks, checking weather for a delivery route, raising a standard transport request, maybe creating a service now ticket, stuff that need doing reliably with minimal input, predictable automation. Got it. The reliable workhorses. Exactly. Now, AI agents. Not These so. are the heavy hitters. They're designed for the more complex, uh, dynamic business challenges. Unlike skills, they navigate unknown paths. They need to make informed decisions along the way. They're good at planning, reasoning. So more adaptable. Much more. They have autonomy. They can execute tasks on their own across different systems. They can even talk to other agents to get things done. And they use those large language models, the GPTs, the Geminis, for their intelligent operations. That's what lets them understand nuance, generate text, make complex choices. Okay. And here's the really cool part. These AI agents can actually use Joule skills as tools within their plans. Ah, so they work together. Precisely. Yeah. So if you connect it all up, the skills provide those reliable, predictable building blocks. Mm. The agents then orchestrate those blocks, adapting them to solve bigger, more complex, dynamic problems. Yeah. They handle the unknown unknowns. That's a really clear distinction. That known path versus unknown path idea really helps. So like a dual skill could reliably create a purchase order step by step. Exactly. But an AI agent might use that skill as one part of a bigger strategy to, say, negotiate the absolute best deal with multiple suppliers, maybe reacting to sudden market shifts. Perfect example. Yes. The skill does the reliable bit. The agent handles the smart orchestration and adaptation around it. They really complement each other. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. So we've talked about what Joule Studio is, how the pieces fit together, but there are a lot of AI solutions popping up. What really makes this one stand out? What's the, uh, the secret sauce here? Good question. I'd say there are three core differentiators, especially in the enterprise world. First, and we kind of touched on this, is it's deep grounding in business processes and data. It's built from the ground up, really, 
to make sure the agents deliver results that are reliable and crucially precise for your specific business. Right, not generic answers. Exactly. And it does this by giving agents semantic access, meaning access with understanding to your enterprise knowledge through that SAP business data cloud and knowledge graph. Plus, you can define agent roles using just natural language, connect them to your existing automations. It means the AI truly understands your context, minimizes those weird hallucinations, makes it more trustworthy, more useful from day one. That grounding sounds absolutely key. It is. Second differentiator. Mm. It's an open and extensible framework. Joule Studio isn't logged into just the SAP world. You can connect it to third-party applications, other AI models. You can unify all your API connections through the SAP integration suite. This makes the agents and skills really scalable, especially in those messy, mixed IT landscapes most companies have. It breaks down the silos. Okay, so it plays well with others. That's important. Very. And third, built-in security and compliance. This isn't an add-on. It's baked in from the very beginning, from requirements gathering onwards. You get full visibility logs showing how agents perform, how they reason. You can test everything thoroughly before deployment. And privacy is built in by design, with data masking, filtering, all that good stuff. That built-in security and compliance, I mean, that must be a massive relief for any enterprise IT or security team. But, you know, thinking about how unique and sometimes incredibly strict security needs can be, especially across different industries, how much built in is truly enough? Mm. Is there still likely to be significant custom configuration needed by IT to meet those really specific nuanced demands? That's a really fair question. Look, the built in capabilities provide a very robust foundation, a huge head start, really. They handle a lot of the common core enterprise requirements around data privacy, access control, things like that. But yeah, for sure, if you're in a highly specialized industry or an organization with exceptionally unique compliance rules, there's almost always going to be some degree of specific configuration needed. Right. The key difference, though, is that Jewel Studio gives you the framework and the visibility to make that customization efficient and auditable. Mm -hmm. You're not starting from zero, trying to bolt security onto a generic tool. It massively simplifies getting to that compliance state. That makes perfect sense. Okay, so you're building on a secure foundation, not trying to patch holes later. Exactly. So we've got the what the how, the why it's different. Let's bring it to life a bit more. How does all this actually play out day to day in a business? Can we look at some uh, compelling use cases? Yeah, absolutely. We're seeing agents and skills working together really effectively across different functions. Take procurement, right? You can have an AI agent analyzing supplier performance data, maybe even negotiating basic contract terms, ensuring supply chain reliability by reacting to, say, sudden risk alerts. Okay. And at the same time, you could build custom jewel skills for those deterministic tasks, like automatically generating reports on vendor compliance or raising standard purchase order requests. It takes away a ton of that manual grind. I can easily see how that frees up procurement teams for more strategic work. Definitely. Or think about talent acquisition. An AI agent could help the hiring team by screening candidate profiles against complex criteria, setting up tricky interview schedules across multiple people's calendars, maybe even kicking off parts of the onboarding process. Oh, okay. While custom jewel skills could handle the high volume, predictable stuff, creating offer letters and routing them for internal approval, sending out standard email communications to candidates, using precise, pre-approved wording every time. Again, automating the predictable, freeing up the humans. Exactly. One more logistics planning. An AI agent could optimize shipment routes dynamically, reacting in real time to, I don't know, sudden bad weather, or maybe a carrier suddenly becoming unavailable, adapting on the fly. Mm -hmm. And then Jewel Skills could handle things like automatically sending tracking updates to the relevant teams or creating the formal transportation requests in the right systems. Keeps everyone informed reliably. That's incredibly powerful. You can really visualize how this shifts the focus away from just, you know, manual data entry and repetitive tasks towards actual strategic thinking and problem solving. Mm -hmm. It really makes you ask how much time, how many resources could this actually save in your own specific industry or even just your day to day role? That's the core question, isn't it? It's about empowering teams, letting them do more, do it faster and with uh, greater accuracy. Yeah. Now, it's one thing for us to talk about these uh, transformative possibilities, right? Yeah. But it's another to see it actually happening. Who's already using this? Are there any early success stories starting to emerge from Jewel Studio? 
Yeah, we are definitely seeing some compelling early results. For instance, Agilita, they're a management consulting firm. They use Jewel Studio to optimize how they allocate resources on projects, helped improve time management, collaboration. Specifically, they enhance their own AGIL.AI time manager application. So real, tangible efficiency gains in their project workflows. Okay, so a practical application showing results. Right. And another one, Essentia. They're a global consulting firm, too. They actually leverage Jewel Studio to create custom skills and agents tailored for different clients. And they manage to integrate them seamlessly with the client's existing application landscapes, which really underlines that interoperability, that adaptability we talked about, works across different environments. Those are impressive validations, especially showing it works in diverse client settings. Okay, so for our listeners who are maybe getting intrigued, thinking, hmm, maybe this is for us. How does someone actually start building these things? What's the developer experience like? Is it super technical? It's actually designed to be quite accessible. Mm -hmm. uh, you access it through the SAP build interface, which should feel familiar to anyone who's done low-code development. It's got that visual drag-and-drop feel. Okay, so not necessarily needing deep coding skills to start. Exactly. Users configure what the agent needs to know, its goals. Mm -hmm. They select the AI models they want to use, connect to their SAP actions, or maybe upload external documents for that grounding context. And a really critical step is the testing. It gives you transparency, lets you see exactly how the agent is planning to use its tools, so you can tweak it, refine it, make iterative improvements before you actually deploy it. That testing and transparency sounds vital for building trust. Absolutely. And just quickly on availability, Jewel Skills, the skill builder part, it's generally available now. As of July 2025, AI agents are currently in a beta program with some selected customers and partners. General availability for agents is planned for the second half of 2025. So uh, it's happening fast. Okay, good to know the timeline. So let's try and wrap this up. What's the uh, the bottom line on Jewel Studio for our listeners? It really sounds like it's offering a fundamentally different approach, doesn't it? Building AI that's truly business ready because it's um, deeply grounded in your specific data and processes. Plus it's open, extensible, plays well with others and has that security baked in from the start. It's really about moving past generic AI towards solutions that are meticulously tailored for your business needs, turning those complex headaches into hopefully streamlined opportunities. Okay, so here's a final thought, something provocative maybe for you to mull over. Think about your own organization right now. What are the most repetitive, maybe soul-destroying, time-consuming tasks? Or on the flip side, what are the most complex, unpredictable problems you wrestle with? Could a custom jewel skill automate away that repetitive work? Or could an intelligent AI agent navigate that complexity, maybe unlock completely new levels of efficiency or even new insights you hadn't considered? The potential for transformation seems, well, pretty immense. And if you are intrigued, if you want to dive even deeper than we have today, SAP has resources available. There's a guided tour of Jewel Studio, interactive value journeys, they call them, and a really active SAP community online. You can connect with developers there, get the latest updates. We definitely encourage you to check those out, explore the resources, and just start imagining what this could mean for your business. 